the No Fate channel. Checking in. Jonathan here, and it is time for the great American Griswold family vacation. And we are gonna be heading to Disney World. I am just a dad of two crazy kids trying to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals. And this brand new series is all about our 2022 Disney family vacation. We are heading down to Disney World and instead of flying the not so friendly skies, we are gonna be loading up the minivan. That's right, and driving from Massachusetts to Florida. And we're gonna take you with us. All of these Disney vacation videos are ultimately gonna drop Wednesday at 1 p.m. If you wanna catch them all, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But let's get into why we chose to drive from Boston to Florida rather than take the simple three hour flight from Logan to Orlando Airport. And there's three main reasons. Number one, you can probably guess price. For a family of four, it would cost $2,000 minimum for the flights. However, that is before checked bags, that is before getting to Logan and paying for a week's worth of parking, and that is a big chunk of change. As far as the second main reason, you probably guessed that too, all of the canceled flights. There's been a ton of flights canceled like that, and it's not about weather, it ends up being about uh, pilots and resources, and it's really out of the blue. Pardon the pun, because JetBlue is one of the biggest ones to cancel flights. And the last thing we wanted was to have a whole vacation with hotels and bookings and reservations set up, only to have our flight pulled out from under us at the last minute. And number three, when we drive, we're gonna be able to just pack in the minivan with tons of food, toys, uh, clothing, all that we could handle. And hopefully in the long run, that will save us money. And I'll get into that in a later video with regards to eating at the park. From my house to Walt Disney World is 1,319 miles. We are expecting to travel, at least by the GPS, 20.5 hours of actual driving. That's with expected traffic. Keep in mind, that does not factor in bathroom breaks and getting gas and maybe even getting food, but most of the food we're gonna bring with us. Also, I expect to average 24 miles per gallon in the Honda minivan, and that is an average. We get 28 on the highway, 20 in the city, so conservatively, I'm hoping to get at least 24 miles per gallon. The price of gas has dropped. I did my calculations at $4.60 per gallon. That would equate to $252 worth of gas. So down and back would be approximately $500, or if you want to be exact, $504 worth of gas versus the $2,000 plus for flying. As far as preparing the 15-year-old family minivan, I did all of the vehicle maintenance that you probably should normally do on your vehicles. I just made sure to have it done before we actually left for Disney. So the tires were rotated, balanced, aligned. I changed all the fluids, the oil, the air filter, the cabin filter, the windshield wipers, and frankly, I just emptied all of the junk out in order to give it a good deep cleaning before we packed in all of the Disney supplies. Last fill up before the journey. This one doesn't count because we're gonna end on a full tank to get a good accurate measurement of how much we actually spent. Currently sitting at 436 per gallon if you pay with a credit card. How do we plan to entertain two crazy kids for over 20 hours of driving? Well, it is a multifaceted approach. Number one, we're gonna be leaving at night. We plan to leave around dinner time, gonna eat in the car, 
take a pit stop around 8 p.m., get the kids ready for bed with the idea that they will actually sleep their normal sleep schedule in the vehicle while it's driving, and then we can avoid a ton of traffic, get a lot of mileage underneath our belts without tons of kids' rest stops, and, and when the morning comes, they will be bright, bushy-tailed, and ready for the rest of the journey, and hopefully we will, we will have avoided a ton of traffic. We also plan to utilize the kids' tablets significantly. They've got a ton of data storage, so we're going to store a ton of Netflix, Disney, Amazon Prime videos all on those tablets, as well as a ton of games that they have to play. We also have books and different types of puzzles that we're hoping to kind of throw at the kids along the way to kind of give them a change of pace. And we've got a little bit of a game going with my son to find all 50 nifty United States license plates with the prize being $100. And my fingers are crossed that he does not see Alaska or Hawaii anytime soon. The next video in this series is gonna be the ultimate trip from Boston down to good old Walt Disney World and take you through just how we survived and anything that comes up along the way. Ultimately, the series is gonna be wrapped up with the journey back how much it actually cost us soup to nuts for a family of four, if we would do it again, if we would drive again, ultimately is Walt Disney World worth visiting now that their prices and all the other prices in the world have just gone nothing but up, up, up. If you are interested in catching the rest of the series, it's all gonna drop Wednesday at 1 p.m., so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And hey, give me a comment below. Do you think we're gonna make it from Boston to Florida without any hiccups along the way? As usual, thank you so much for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back.